There's one telltale sign to know who to follow in this truth. Now, we're all following the spirit of Yahweh Barshem, Yahweh Shai. That's a fact, right? But Yahweh Barshem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, have set up men to be followed, have set up men to lead other men. So the next question is, especially for a young brother, well, who do I follow? Who do I follow? Is there a benchmark that I can use to guide me properly to follow the right kind of men in the faith? Because that's a permanent, absolute truth that the Heavenly Father have set up men to be followed in this truth. How do I know who to follow in this truth? This is another edition of the Daily Edification, the Daily Exhortation, and it comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, Bar Shem All praises and all praises and glory is due. A little tongue twister there. All right, so a permanent, absolute truth is that the Heavenly Father Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai have set up men to guide other men to follow the truth, which leads to what? Salvation. Now, even the demons know this, and here's proof, okay? Acts 16 and 6, or Acts 16 and 16, rather, Sulakia. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel, that would be a woman, possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us. Now listen to what the demon is saying. Listen to what the demon is saying. While the demon was following, the demon was housed in that woman. The woman was the house for that demon. While the demon is following Paul and the men that were with him, the true men that were teaching the gospel, listen to what that demon is saying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, these men, listen carefully, these men are the servants of the Most High Power. So you're going to tell me the demons don't know who are the worthy and unworthy? If you think that is not so, well, you don't understand this thing of ours. The demons, they know who is the real deal and who is the phony. They know, okay? These, are, these men are the servants of the Most High Power, which... Here it comes. Listen carefully. Which show us or which show unto us the way of salvation. Let me read that again. This is a demon saying this. A demon that possessed this certain woman. Okay? Housed in this certain woman. Right? The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High Power. The demon knew who was the worthy. Which show unto us the way of salvation. So there are men set up, especially to you young brothers. I am directing this to you young brothers in the faith. There are men set up to show you the way to salvation. The way of salvation. There are men set up in this faith to show you the way of salvation. And you are to follow those men. You are to listen to those men. And you are to esteem those men. Why? Because they are showing you, especially you being new, they are showing you the way of salvation. And even the demons know this. I just proved it to you. And the demon said this for many days. Let's read on. After this, did she many days, I'm sorry, and this, <laughs> and this, did she many days. What did she do many days? In other words, what did the demon do many days? The demon kept saying this. These men are the servants of the most high power which show unto us the way of salvation. And the reason why I'm laughing is the, the, the demon was being a pest, 
because it got to the point where the Apostle Paul was sick of hearing it, okay? And that's why he did this. Let's read on. But Paul being grieved, because he got sick and tired of hearing it, okay? Paul being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahawashai to come out of her. And he came out. Notice it says he, but this was, this was a demon housed in a woman. And it's described as he. Check. Did you make that observation, you brothers, from listening to the scripture? It said he, but this was a damsel. A damsel ain't he. A damsel is a woman. But the demon that was in her is described as he, the demon. He came out the same hour. Okay? <laughs> so this is deep. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. You know, <laughs> that point I just observed there. The point is the demon knew or the demon rather knows that there are men set up to guide you to the way of salvation. Okay? And that goes back to Galatians, the fourth chapter, where it speaks about tutors. That goes back to the scripture where it speaks about governments. That goes back to the scripture in Jude, where it speaks about certain men despise dominion, dignities. It proves the point that there are men set up to guide you to the way of salvation. So, how do you know those men? Is there a telltale sign that lets you know these are the men, just like this demon knew that Paul and the men that were with him were the men that lead other men to the way of salvation? Is there a telltale sign that you, especially you as a young brother, can know that these men will lead you to salvation? Yes, there is. And it's by the works of those men. You don't follow the words. You follow action. You follow works. The scriptures speak about in samples. There are certain men set up to be in samples to you. And I would start with your elders. What is an elder? An elder is a brother that's been in the faith for more than 25 years this is a guy who's been in the faith for more than 25 years of hardcore, faithful service. This guy never took no time off. He never took no breaks. He's, he's been constantly feeding the flock with videos of edification. His talk is sound doctrine. He doesn't uh, vaunt himself, meaning he doesn't, uh, 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 you know, uh, he doesn't... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Vaunt is a good word, but he doesn't put himself up there like he's a demigod, okay? He, he's, he's very low-key. He's very humble, okay? But above all, you know, above his character, he does works. I mean, he does some serious works, okay? He's out in the camp every week. He's out on the street teaching. He does edifying videos. That is the guy that you follow, that is the guy that you mock, pursuant to Psalm 37, 37, where it says, mock the perfect man. By the way, the perfect man would be an elder, okay? That is the guy that you mock. And there are plenty of examples right here in Great Millstone that fit that ilk, that fit that group, okay? The scriptures speak about examples. Let's read one, okay? 1 Corinthians, you have to be smart. Okay, you can't be stupid. You can't just follow any guy. You got to be very selective, very choosing in who you follow in this faith, in this truth. Okay? Because you want to follow the guy that's going to lead you to the way of salvation. You don't want to follow no idiot. Okay? I just read to you the scripture. Even the demons know that. <laughs> First, which, by the way, the demon, well, it said it's certain demon. The word demon means intelligence. So how about that? Okay. Ponder on that. 1 Corinthians 10 and 6. It says, uh, well, this is a negative example, but nevertheless, it is an example. It speaks about, well, let's, let's read it. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 5. But with many of them, the Most High was not well pleased. <laughs> so they were an example. So you, you either have good examples or bad examples. But you young men who desire to 
follow the way of salvation, the path of salvation, you would, you would cling to what? You would follow what? The good examples. You wouldn't follow no bad example. But nevertheless, this scripture is about a bad example. An example is an example, right? But with many of them, the Most High was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lust. So that's negative examples. Well, let's get some good examples. That's what we want to talk about. Okay? I was going to dismiss the scripture, but the point is still there. End samples. Let's try that. I know the word end sample is there. End sample, example is the same word. Okay? It's the same word. Here we go. And I'm going to end this video because the point has been made. This is the Apostle Paul speaking this time to the Israelites in the church of Philippi. This is what he wrote. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, uh, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Brethren, brethren, brothers, okay, this is directed to the brotherhood. Be followers together of me. Who's this speaking? The Apostle Paul, okay? <laughs> and mark them which walk so ye have us for an ensample. So you have examples in this faith that will lead you to the way of salvation. You have them. And it's your job, especially you young brothers, to discern between the two. The ones that are examples that will lead you to the way of salvation and the ones that are not. That's your job. As it is written, let every man be fully persuaded in, in his own mind. But I've gave, I gave you the key. The key is to follow the works, the good works of certain men who have proven over the years that they are faithful to this ministry. That's what you follow. That's what you look at. That's what you use as your benchmark on your path or walk in this path of truth. That's your benchmark. Okay? And I'm, of course, we can all look at Yahweh Shai, but Yahweh Shai is in the heavens. Okay? He's waiting to come back on the earth and finish his work. All right? But even now as I speak, there are certain men on the planet Earth right now that have a legacy of good works in the faith that if you're smart, you young brothers, you'll acknowledge that, you'll observe that, and you'll use that as your benchmark to help you go down this path of truth. Okay? And that's my message to you. Hopefully you were edified by it. And right now I say shalom, it's on to the next one.